Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about the next event in Arica, Chile. So the next event is going to be the Arica Bodyboard Cultura. Now this is an event that has new promoters and they have been going since last year. It was a really successful event last year with some amazing waves that came through. So I've been coming to this event for the last six years and in more recent years have seen many successes. I was lucky enough to win my first APB World Grand Slam here in Eureka and I would really like to do well in this event after having not such a great run in the last few events. Last year we watched some amazing waves and some really good action from all the riders that perfect 20 point heat total from Tanner McDaniel in the final from last year. So I'm sure this year we're going to be seeing a lot more great stuff going down here. So here's a little montage from last year's event and my time spent here in Eureka. So at the moment I'm staying in a hotel called Casa Beltran and this is one of the hotels that we always stay in. It's probably one of the best hotels in Eureka and we get some really good accommodation here. They've got amazing breakfast and an unbelievable restaurant downstairs that uh, allows for lunches as well as dinners. So we can pretty much stay in this hotel for breakfast, lunch and dinner and it's just so nice to have this environment where you can really get your mind settled and get your head into competing here in Arica. So the location of Arica is about 30 or 40 kilometers from the Peruvian border. So we are really high up in the north of Chile and the weather up here is a lot warmer than we've had in both Iquique and Antofagasta. We arrived two days ago and ever since then we've been in shorts and t-shirts and not having to wear long pants and shoes the whole time, which is 
really been quite nice after being so cold in those last two places. What I really loved about Arika in the past is the fans. Now, because the island where we surfed this event is closed off to the public at the moment, the fans are gonna actually have a big screen TV at the front of the island, and that's gonna allow everyone to kind of congregate there and watch this event go down live. Unfortunately though, they won't be on the beach itself as there was a discovery of some alien-like forms on this island. So they've actually closed down the island and they're building it up so it can become way more accessible to the public and they can start to see all these kind of things as well as give us a very nice area for the contest itself. When it comes to food show, we're really lucky to have both Chilean and Peruvian influence in the food and it is unbelievable. We really get spoiled here. When it comes to the waves here, it is a very, very good wave and it is possibly one of the better waves on tour and I absolutely love this wave. In the past we've seen some really big days out here where this wave gives you both options of going left as well as right and both sections have their own uniqueness to them. It is a full rock bottom and kind of slabby and very shallow on the inside. This allows for a lot of really good barrels as well as some big air sections for guys to go absolutely crazy on. So be sure to stay tuned for all of that. Unfortunately, one of the factors when you get given waves like this is often you get onshore winds and especially here in Chile, you get a lot of onshore winds in the afternoon. This is just something that happens here and unfortunately, as soon as the sun comes out, generally the wind picks up. But the good thing about this is that it allows us to just surf in the mornings and we can kind of relax in the afternoons, which is actually really nice to have. So as I said before, I'm really looking forward to getting into this event. It is always one of those events that's a lot of high impact. There's always a lot of action going down and I'm sure you guys don't want to miss anything. Follow on all the APB World Tour social media platforms, Instagram as well as their website to see all the live webcast of this event and follow me on my social media platforms as I will be posting a lot more about this event in the coming days. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button to get notified more about these videos and give it a thumbs up if you really enjoy it. Otherwise, drop me a question down below in the comments and I'll get to you guys as soon as possible. We'll see you soon.